In this video, we, and when I say we, I mean me, so I, will be talking about the Redivis RT91 40 watt power amplifier. I will do a very quick overview of this amplifier and how it works, and I will then connect it to my Redivis RT97 repeater to see if the RT91 power amplifier is compatible with the repeater as Redivis claims on their website. Now, if you know anything about how repeaters work, you are probably saying to yourself, there is no way that an inline power amplifier, such as the Redivis RT91 amplifier, there is no way this type of amplifier could work when connected to a repeater between the antenna and the duplexer. Just like me, you are probably saying to yourself, there is no way this could possibly work. And if you're not saying that to yourself, or if you don't understand why it won't work, I will explain it momentarily so that anyone will understand why, in theory, this should not work with the Redivis RT97 repeater, or pretty much any repeater, as claimed on the Redivis website. However, if you look at the webpage for the Redivis RT91 power amplifier, you will very clearly see that Redivis assures us the RT91 power amplifier is compatible with the RT97 repeater. So is Redivis lying to us? And if Redivis is lying to us, will I be willing to risk my relationship, my long-term relationship with Redivis to call them out in public as liars? You bet your ass I would, because that is why I'm here, to look out for you, my favorite viewer, so that you don't get ripped off. And before I go any further, please allow me to point out that I paid full price for this Redivis RT91 power amplifier, and I also paid full price for this Redivis RT97 repeater. This is the repeater that I will be using to test the claims of compatibility that Redivis has made. I paid for both of these products with the monies collected from my paid supporting YouTube channel members. Those are the people that clicked on the join button. That's down below the video. So if you are one of my paid supporting channel members, thank you. But if you've ever been wondering what it is I do with the dozens of dollars that I collect every month from my supporting channel members, this is what I do. I buy things like this and this, and I test them to help make the world a better place. Allow me to now give you the quick rundown of the Redivis RT91 40 watt power amplifier. This will not be a full review of this power amplifier, just a quick overview so you understand what it is and how it works. The RT91 comes in two versions, a VHF version and a UHF version. This, as indicated right here, is the UHF version, so it works on GMRS frequencies. It comes with everything you need to get it up and running, including a user manual, which is written in poor Chinglish, as is pretty much everything with this radio. For example, if you look at the caution sticker, it says, please connect using the legal RF radio. The equipment will keep your RF radios all function. That makes no sense at all. It comes with all the power connectors that you need to use it. Comes with a cable that you can use to connect to any radio with a standard K-type connector, which is not required. But if you want to use the included microphone, which plugs in there, you can connect the amplifier to the radio using this cable, and then you can talk through your handheld radio using this microphone. However, that is optional. It comes with the mounting brackets and everything that you need to use the amplifier with a walkie-talkie. It has, oh, I almost forgot. Over the holidays, one of my fans sent me this. I don't really know how to use one of these, so this will be the first time I've actually used it. <laughs> Ooh. 
that should shut up about a thousand of my OCD viewers so they stop leaving comments about my goddamn pencil. The amplifier has an on and off button. It has a power indicator light, so you know when it has power, a transmit light, and an alarm light, which I think is to let you know if it's overpowered or overheating. You connect from the antenna of your radio to the SMA connector here using the cable that is provided, and this is what you connect to your antenna. <sighs> Darn it. Yeah, that's fine. It comes with everything you need to use it with a walkie-talkie radio. To use it with the RT97 repeater, which I will be doing momentarily, you will need an adapter that will connect from the RT97 repeater PL259 type connector to SMA. If you want to use the optional microphone, you would plug that in there, and you would have to use the optional control cable there with the other end plugged in to your handy talkie radio right there. However, that is optional. Generally, what you would do is remove your antenna. You would connect the included cable onto the radio. The amplifier does come with a little adapter that you would use to connect to the included cable so that you can screw into the SMA connector on your radio. You would then connect from the walkie-talkie into the RT91 here. You connect your antenna there. And then when you key up the radio, the amplifier detects that power output and automatically kicks in. The way that most people would use the Redivus RT91 would be by connecting it to a small walkie-talkie like this and then connecting to an antenna on your roof, basically turning your 5-watt walkie-talkie into a 40-watt base station. And it does that very well. So as you can see, I have connected my Wuxin Ocean KG905G into the RT91 power amplifier with the provided cable. I have then connected the output of the Redivus RT91 amplifier via this high quality Messi and Poloni cable into the Farsometer 2000 power and SWR meter so that I can demonstrate how the Redivus RT91 works when connected with a walkie-talkie. So I will press the push to talk button on my walkie-talkie, which will send the RF electricities through this small cable into the RT91 amplifier. It will then amplify those RF electricities, send them through this high quality Messi and Poloni cable into the Farzo meter 2000, where we will see the actual power output right here. And we will also see the frequency displayed here so that we can confirm and ensure that it's actually amplifying at the right frequency. You will also see a very large number here. That will be the SWR. We don't care about the SWR because we are not connected to an actual antenna. We are connected to a dummy load. And as you can see, with the Redivus RT91 amplifier connected, when I press the push to talk button, we are getting 30 seven and a half watts. And as you can see, it is transmitting at 462575 megahertz, which is GMRS channel 16, which is what I currently have the radio set at. So we are getting just under 40 watts, just as expected. So connected to something like a walkie talkie, it works very well, just as advertised. And using the RT91 this way is especially useful if you have a large antenna on the roof connected to your walkie-talkie and you're using 100 feet or so of coax because so much of the RF electricities will ooze out of the coax and drop to the ground and never actually make it to the antenna. Depending on the coax you use with a 5-watt walkie-talkie, only half a watt or one watt or so may ever actually make it to the antenna. The rest of the RF electricities will be all over the ground. So by using the RT91 amplifier, you can make up for that loss and get 10 to 15 watts out to the antenna, thereby increasing your FARs. Now, according to Redivus, the other way you can use the Redivus RT91 power amplifier is by connecting it to your Redivus RT97 repeater, which, by the way, is an awesome little repeater, probably the best thing that Redivus makes. 
This repeater is fully contained and it has a duplexer inside. But even though this is a 10 watt repeater, that means 10 watts is coming out of the power amplifier into the duplexer, because of how this type of duplexer works, the type of duplexer that is inside this box, it eats 40 or 50% of the power coming out of the amplifier so that only five or six watts ever actually makes it out of the antenna hole. However, according to the Redivis website, the RT91 amplifier is compatible with the RT97 repeater. And when you read the Redivis RT91 webpage, I and most other people that speak English would interpret this to mean that you can connect the RT91 amplifier to the RT97 repeater, thereby turning this repeater into a 40 watt repeater, which would be awesome. The only problem with that is that based on my understanding of how repeaters and duplexers work, all of the power in a repeater must go through the duplexer, which in the case of the Redivis RT97 is sealed inside the case. And if you were to connect a power amplifier, such as the RT91, to the outside of the repeater, between the duplexer, which is inside, and between the antenna, which would be over here somewhere, it cannot work because that effectively bypasses the duplexer. You are adding power after the duplexer and before the antenna. And if you add power after the duplexer, which is inside here, between the duplexer and your antenna, it cannot work in theory because it effectively bypasses the duplexer and because of the very complicated laws of physics and radio theory, the repeater would no longer function as a repeater. And you cannot simply open the box and connect the amplifier before the duplexer because number one, that would void the warranty, and number two, the duplexer that is inside of this repeater and many other small repeaters is rated for 10 watts maximum. So this beefy 40 watt amplifier would quickly burn up the duplexer that is inside of this repeater. However, as many experts have pointed out in comments left on my videos in the past, I do not have a ham radio operator's license. And therefore, according to those experts, I am not qualified to publicly speak about things as complicated as duplexers and amplifiers and antennas. Because I have not taken the 35 question multiple choice test for a ham radio license, and therefore, obviously, according to the experts, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So I spoke with someone that does have a ham license and is also a professional radio technician about the subject of duplexers and amplifiers and antennas, and he says, I'm correct. But Redivis says right there on their website that this amplifier is compatible with the RT97 repeater. So let's see if Redivis is full of shit and lying to their customers, or if me and my ham radio friend are wrong. So to test if the amplifier works with the RT97 repeater, as claimed by Redivis on their website, I connected the RT97 repeater to the antenna on my roof. I then had my friend Conrad, who is about 13 miles away, transmit to the repeater, while at the same time, my friend Chris, who is 10 miles away and about 20 miles away from Conrad, recorded how Conrad sounds when he transmits through the repeater. So when Conrad was transmitting just through the Redivis repeater without the amplifier connected, this is what happened and how he sounded. Testing Ranchino, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. And as you just heard, with your very own noise holes, Conrad was coming in loud and clear through the repeater. I then connected the RT91 amplifier to the RT97 repeater and asked my friend Conrad to transmit again, and this is how it went. Okay. 
So as you just saw, when the Redivus RT-91 was connected to the RT-97 repeater, even though the repeater was outputting a full 38 watts, it no longer was able to function as a repeater. Meaning that when you connect the RT-91 amplifier to the RT-97 repeater or any repeater of this type, it effectively renders the repeater useless. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, based on the testimony and the video evidence just presented, the Redivus RT-91 amplifier is not compatible with the Redivus RT-97 repeater as claimed by Redivus. Leave a comment below with your prediction of how long you think it will take Redivus to update their webpage.